Welcome to our report on Indian stock markets. The markets have been doing well in the recent past, bringing in buoyancy after a brief period of correction. There was a gap in our communication for a couple of weeks as I was traveling across Asia attending conferences and trainings on stock markets. One of them was attending Dr. Alexander Elder's Traders Camp at Macau, where there was immense learnings which we have now implemented in our analysis process, which we expect to give better returns for our clients, even in volatile markets. At a time when Sensex is reaching for its new highs, you would be wondering, as are all the investors across India, that not only our portfolio is reaching for a high, even it is doing bad. There are angry investors across our country feeling bad about their fund managers for this underperformance. I would like to share some small understandings that I have on this divergence which has been going through in our markets. It is one of our rare occurrences where fundamentally strong stocks begin to underperform on their growth in price while a few large caps lead the rally in the markets. The top five reasons that we have understood which has been the cause for this underperformance are 1. The re recategorization of mutual funds by SEBI which has forced fund managers to sell mid and small cap stocks in their portfolio and add to large caps. Many of these large caps <coughs> actually do not match the fundamental attributes that fund managers look for to have in their portfolio. But are forced to do this changed. This is the reason why a couple of good ones among the average pack that has been doing well in the market now. The likes of TCS Hindustan Lever which is actually been growing at 10 to 14 percent and Reliance which is been negative on its growth because of the recent bonus announcement have been attracting fund manager activity because they want to ensure that they have quality or big names in their portfolio to ensure there is capital safety in their assets. And also when they are liquidating large chunks of mid and small caps there is huge pressure on the selling side which is bringing their prices to lower lows. The second point that created problem was in 2017 valuations of all the quality stocks went skyrocketing because of huge fund flows that the markets had where fund managers were forced to buy stocks even when prices went up. We had a couple of say 100 to 150 companies which were fundamentally very strong and all the money going into those stocks it took the prices to seriously bigger high levels. When now when there is selling happening there is a total vacuum as there are no buyers and prices have started crashing down. And the third instance is we are in election year. So pre-election year generally we do have markets going into volatility. It, this was the same condition when it was in 2014 pre-election year where large caps saw big rally which followed with a mid and small cap rally where we had 2014 registering around 42% gains. Election, election year uncertainties where uh, the market is expecting that there is a fear on BJP not forming the next government which is forcing large investors to stay on sidelines waiting for confirmation before com committing their funds. Fourth point is crude oil reaching for new highs. When crude oil grows up by $10, we have a very big deficit on our forex reserves. Though there is a cooling, cooling off coming up in crude oil prices, there is expectation that there is wide range of tops going on. Crude oil will be reaching 85 soon by December period. This is actually forming a bearish pattern in our market and currencies, our currency is getting depreciated. Again, there is a talk that in INR will reach 73 to dollar. All these have been bringing pressure into the market. So going forward, what is going to be in store for the markets or investors in the coming year. So there is good news, five good points that we have noted are 
large part of the correction in the mid caps are almost over now now we don't say that it will not go down it will go through the volatility and down phases large caps are rallied that is the sensex and uh, nifty has gone to peak it will have some corrections so mid caps also will align with them in correction and not go diverging like what happened in, in between january to june where mid caps saw a huge correction so we don't see a big drop from here for mid caps and when markets go up mid caps since it is bottomed out we could see bigger rallies happening second positive all the portfolio rebalancing has been over now so <coughs> election outcomes if it is favorable we will see big rallies happening and broad based buying from fund houses to position themselves for the coming election positive results if so happens will see buying happening in the market and bring more demand for stocks the, in the last 3 to 4 years growth stocks have given bigger alpha say in the last 4 years sensex has given around 90% returns whereas mid and small caps are around 150 170% returns we expect the similar kind of returns to follow in the next 3 years too and fifth positive is profit growth in mid and small caps is expected to be at 20 to 30% in the next 2 to 3 years which gives a large scope for price increases in the next 3 years so we will see another 30 40% rally after elections in 2019 20 also the sectors which took the markets up in 2014 and 17 period will take a back seat now giving space for uh, those stocks that those sectors that took a hit like pharma and uh, psu banks which is almost at the bottom to see rallies happening in them so fund managers are most of the fund managers funds have started positioning themselves in these kind of stocks and we expect big gains coming from this space too so it is time to be invested in the markets and not panic though late entrants who entered in the say november december january november december of 2017 and early january 2018 their portfolios would have taken a big hit while being invested and participating in the next rally i am sure that your all the losses in your portfolios will get erased and you will see decent gains made in your investments there are many new investors who are wanting to stop their sips complaining that their last one year sip investments have gone into negative please don't do that sips are at advantage only when markets are going down and volatile if you have been investing in your in the markets in your sips you will see april may and june sips would have had more units allotted to you and those higher units which you got in april may june when markets were down will give you higher returns when markets go up in the next year so we expect there is expectation that from 2019 onwards next 3 years we'll see a repeat of 14 17 in our markets so be invested in the markets to reap the biggest gains next big gains that is going to come in our markets so what are the positive developments that has been happening in the markets mutual funds have now started giving insurance for sip investors this is one very unique product where insurance is going to become free for all investors we have a lot of posts regarding the subject on our website please go through it to get more details on sip insurance thank you